Hi everybody, I am back again with part two of my finds for today. If you saw part one, you saw that I got mostly bread and butter items, lots of dresses in a bag sale for $5 per bag. Um, so I got to show you those on the last video. Now during that same trip today, I came upon a small thrift store that just opened this week. Um, I know this guy from Marketplace. He used to he used to post a lot of uh, nice stuff for sale. Um, so he posted some boots yesterday, and I've I've always been too late to get the nice stuff that he. This piece of hair is gonna irk me so bad. Um, I've always been too late to find to get the stuff that he posts. But he posted some boots yesterday, and I'm like, oh, I really want these. I can pick them up tomorrow morning. And he's like, oh, I'm not gonna hold them for you, which I totally understand. Well, as it turns out, I didn't know that this guy actually had a thrift store, he, which he just opened um, this week. So I go there to pick up my boots and I immediately notice that his prices are like really, I mean, the boots, the boots were like priced great. Um, I go in his thrift store and I immediately notice that his items are priced really nicely. So I'm like, okay, I, I'm, I'm digging this. He tells me that all the clothes are a dollar. So I go back there, y'all, and I found what I think is the mother load. Now, if you watched my last video, um, I was explaining how I live in the South Jersey area. And finding couture items, finding things like Dior, um, Louis Vuitton, or even, even stuff like, um, what is the name of that thing? avec la fille or whatever stuff like that it's very difficult show me your moo moo i have probably found maybe one sweater um of show me your moo moo this whole time it's very difficult to find so i deal mostly in bread and butter items um as fancy as it gets for me it's probably going to be like michael kors calvin klein that's as good as it gets so if, if you're looking for videos that are going to show you like really high-end items to sell this probably is not it um but i'm still very entertaining so you should watch um but I do deal mostly in bread and butter items and I have been on eBay for 12 years um I do pretty well I sell lots of items it's paying some of my bills and it's lots of fun so if you like seeing this kind of stuff if you're like me and you don't have access to top name brands don't be discouraged you can still make money on eBay and I'm going to show you some of the things that I got today. So this guy said that everything was, a well, the clothes were all a dollar. So I went back there and I was pleasantly surprised at what I found. But first, look at Mr. Owl that I found. Isn't he so adorable? So I saw Mr. Owl and I immediately knew that he was probably an older item. So I think people put these in their yard to dissuade certain critters or whatever. In any event, well, I didn't realize that a key word for this, he is old. He was from 1990, which means that he is actually vintage now. And um, he's a blow mold. Who would have known? I should have known. See, it has the hole in the bottom. So I think you can put like a little light in there and his eyes will light up. But I'm not 100% sure. I'm probably going to try to sell this local just because I don't like shipping. I mean, it is lightweight. If I can find a box big enough, I might ship him. They're going on eBay for 20 bucks. I got him for $2. So I deal mostly in clothing items, but I will pick up anything that I can make a few bucks on. Okay? So I went back there. And I'm going to show you everything that he had. I want to show you this thing that I got, but you're probably going to be mad at me and hate me. And I'm not going to show you. It's an item that is banned on eBay and you're not allowed to sell it anymore. But he had it there for a dollar. So I grabbed it and I don't have the slightest idea where I'm going to sell this at. Probably some Facebook groups. But I'm not going to show it to y'all because I don't want y'all to hate me. So the first thing that I got today from this guy who just opened up his store was this is a shirt and if you watched my last video and this is 100% linen okay you cannot go wrong with 100% linen I should be able to sell this for 15 to 20 bucks it's a size medium the brand is Lungo Larno made in Italy never seen this brand before haven't looked it up so I'm just pricing this based on what I would price any other like 100% linen top it's a size medium it does look like it runs a little small and it's tunic length so I should be able to get 15 or 20 bucks for that 
I grabbed this. I'm absolutely obsessed with baby clothes, but I have had to reel myself in. I have collected so many baby clothes and I used to do really well selling. I paid a dollar for that. I used to do really well selling on um, Facebook, but it kind of slowed down for me. So I recently took a lot of my baby stuff that hadn't sold. I took it to um, Once Upon a Child and I was really pleasantly surprised because they brought most of my stuff, which I wasn't expecting at all. I only got like a dollar each. I averaged like a a dollar fifty to a dollar for each baby item which is generally what I pay I don't pay more than like a dollar or two so I kind of got like most of my money back and I was really happy about that this is also a dollar it's a women's Yankees shirt brand new size medium one dollar probably gonna put that up there for 15 bucks a lot of this stuff, I've been doing this for so long. I've been selling on eBay for like 12 years. A lot of the times I don't even have to look up comps. I'm at a point now where I can just look at something. I'm like, oh yeah, I can make 10 bucks on that. Let's grab it, you know? I'm not going to sit here wasting my time, especially when I'm paying a dollar for stuff. I'm not going to look up every single item. I deal mostly 90% clothing. I know what the brands are. I pretty much know what they sell for. I'm not wasting a bunch of time. Now we are in May when I'm doing this video right and the weather's changing so I know that a lot of people if you don't have the storage space you probably would not have brought a lot of this stuff because a lot of this stuff is like sweaters and stuff but I don't have a problem holding on to this stuff until it gets closer to winter um this is a Rachel Zoe a sweater in size small and I do if you watch my other video I try to stay away from extra small and small I just don't have a lot of luck with it the stuff can sit forever but I do believe that this is an oversized I believe that this is an oversized sweater because I'm more of like a medium or large and it looks like it will fit one dollar people it's ribbed it's oversized has the buttons in the front Rachel and Zoe um Rachel and Zoe or Zoe and Rachel well, I don't know. So I'm probably when winter, when it gets closer to winter, I'll put that up for like 20 bucks. I'll show you guys the jeans last. I'm very like, excited about that. Okay. Lots of sweaters. Um, again, sweaters, it may not be your thing to shop out of season. And technically, I mean, if I wanted to put these up now, I absolutely could. Nothing would be stopping me. Um, other than I just don't really have a lot of spare time. So with the time that I do have, I'm really trying to focus on things that are in season that I know it's going to sell fast. Th this, If I posted this, this is Tahari. It's a Tahari sweater, size medium basic ribbed blue sweater really nice for yeah paid a dollar for that um so I mean if I if I get through like all my summer and spring stuff and I have extra time on hand or whatever like as if that ever really happens um I would definitely have no problem posting a sweater right now in May or June or even July but um, I really do try to focus on the clothing of the season. Vince Camuto, size 2X, brand new with tags, people. I was very excited. Again, this is not couture. This is not a top of the line $100 item. But I'm happy when I can find clothes like this for a dollar with the tags on it and I don't have to wait in an hour long Goodwill line and I don't have to fight with people at the bins to find stuff like this. So if I can walk into a quiet thrift store and I have pick of the litter, stuff like this excites me. Um, this is for Cynthia. I've just recently been seeing this brand. I don't think I've ever sold it before for Cynthia. But I saw a bunch of this at the thrift store the other day, so I don't know if this is like a newer brand. Um, but this looks to be, yeah, this is 100% linen or it has a good linen content. I don't see a size on here, but just based on the looks of it, it's a dress, long dress with button details. Um, this is looking to be about a size 12 to 14 or maybe like an extra large. You can't go wrong with a linen dress. I don't know how much I'm going to post that for, but most likely like 20 bucks. I did find these. Oh no, it has a snag on it. I can probably fix that. Um, Avenue pants, 
I can't go wrong with Avenue pants. A lot of my Avenue pants, this is Avenue straight leg. And it is a size 26, 28 average. Basic black dress pants. It's a plus size. It has the tags on it. I paid a dollar. I've sold items like this for anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks in the past. So definitely keep an eye out for Avenue. This is a brand that, uh, this is called Milano. M-I-L-A-N-L, -L, Milano. Has the tags. It's so cute. If it was a little smaller, I would have kept it. It has like the Peter Pan. Uh, look at that cute detail, rhinestone. I don't know. I could probably shrink it in the dryer because I'm kind of digging it a little bit. Oh, the sleeve. See, I'm a petite. I'm short, so the sleeves are like super long. This is like a hunter green. It feels really soft. I'm going to have to check the material content. I don't know if it's wool. I doubt if it's cashmere. A dollar. Can't go wrong. What else did I get? Oh gosh, this is cute. I only paid a dollar for it. I have no idea what it goes for, but I think it's the cutest thing ever. It's a snow globe from the office and it says world's best boss. It doesn't make any noise or anything. He only charged me a dollar for this at the thrift store. I was very impressed because, you know, thrift stores have overhead. He's new. Um, and the prices he was charging, it was so cheap. Um, but I definitely, he definitely made some money off of me today. All right, a few more items that I'm going to show. If you ever have any questions about reselling, like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. I am not the expert by any stretch of the imagination, but if you want to talk about bread and butter items, all day long, baby. This is Tahari, size medium. Boucle, I think is what they call, or tweed. I don't know if this is like tweed or boucle whatever the heck you call it it is a like suit jacket in navy blue has like the fringe detail on the here and and it has like sequins and stuff really like this um i don't think i've sold anything like this before but i'm guessing that i can get at least 20 bucks for it what is this what is this listen i was just grabbing stuff i was barely looking at the brands i really could care less when i saw tags and it was only a dollar i don't mess around too much with trying to look up comps and stuff like that i just grab it because if i know i can make like ten dollars off of it i'm not gonna waste my time looking up every single thing donna karen black velvet skirt Ugh, the lighting is terrible right now has like a wrap style or ruching and this is a size eight if you want to look at any of these items um they will be posted on ebay probably within a week or two of this mm, let me not say that i'm going to try to get them up as soon as possible if you see anything that you're interested in just message me and i'll post it up even faster um but i'm probably going to just take my time getting this stuff listed because like I said, a lot of this stuff is like more wintry items. And I have a bunch of summer stuff that I need to focus on. This is Green Envelope. I don't know what type of brand this is. I know I've heard of it before. Now, the only thing is that some of the brands did have a black line through it. So I will disclose that when I take pictures. This is just a basic like top. It's super soft. I don't know if it's my size, but I'm kind of liking it. It's a size large. And I can't really describe the color. Super soft. Should be able to get 15 or 20 bucks for that. This is so cute. Paid a dollar for this. And I'm probably, I will definitely be posting this closer to Christmas time. A baby Yoda. I believe this is men's. Look at this. Baby Yoda Christmas with the Christmas pants. A dollar, y'all. It doesn't have tags on it, but I'm pretty sure it's new. Not sure how much I can get for that. Doesn't matter. I paid a dollar. Just want to make a few dollars. I need to support my DoorDash addiction, okay? That is why I love eBay. It, it supports my eating habits. Um, look at this dress. I'm going to save the dress. I'll save the dress. A few more sweaters. I feel like I'm not talking enough. I feel like, I mean, I can talk for days. If y'all just want me to ramble about crazy stuff, I definitely have don't have a problem doing that. I'm not sure what you guys like to see or if you just want to tell me more about, if you want me to tell you more about like how I run my eBay business. Currently at this time, I think I have like somewhere between 1,500 to 2,000 items listed. I want to say, I don't know. I can't remember. Isn't that terrible? 
um this is a this is not like a name brand item but it's so cute this will definitely sell around halloween time sequin little pug doggy with the sequin halloween thing and that's a size medium super soft i don't even remember putting this in my cart i must have just oh oh there's two of them didn't even know i put two of these in my cart this is the same exact one as the other one but this one is a size small it's the pug dog people love stuff with animals you see the shirt i'm wearing that has like the cat on it people love stuff like this i have an anthropology it's rare for me to find anthropology but i found like this anthropology top at a, at a church thrift store for like two bucks um and it's going for like 50 bucks and just because it has like the wiener dog on it Oh no, I have to be super careful because I don't want to rip this off. This has sequins. But yeah, like anything with animals or dogs, keep an eye out for that. A shirt like this with cats, you would be surprised. Like anything that has to do with like pets or animals, I do really well with. I've sold a bunch of like pajamas that had cats on them and stuff. And I use in my keyword description novelty. So if I were to like post this top up on eBay, I would say like black long sleeve shirt cat print novelty. This is a diva, which I don't think is like an amazing brand or anything, a diva, but it is, it does have sequins and it's a size medium turtleneck. This is kind of cute. Oh my gosh, this dress, guys, you guys have got to see this. I'm so excited about it. Just a few more items. Again, y'all, I went to this place today to go pick up some boots that I had found on Marketplace at a good price. He said he had a little thrift store. Based on the pictures, it looked like it was just going to be like trashy, dirty, old crap. And when I, I was very pleasantly surprised. Now, I know I said that I don't, I try to stay away from size extra large, um, I'm sorry, extra small stuff. But this is Tahari. It's a brand new sweater. Um, what's the retail? Retail value is 88. I know I'm not going to get that much. I can probably post this up for 20 bucks. Um, it's a basic blue sweater, size extra small. I don't know if I would have gotten it if I would have known that it was extra small, but I mean, hopefully it won't sit for too long. I really want this for myself just because I am the goddess. People know me as the goddess. That's what I do. Um, it's a basic white tank top and I love like the moon print. It has like the star and moon print. Oh, it's Nicole it's nicole miller didn't even know it's a nicole miller so and it is a little big for me so i'm probably gonna sell it but if you're like into goddess vibes new age type of stuff you will love this I go, this is like a tank top so i'll probably post this up faster than like some of the the winter stuff okay almost done gotta show you these last few things that i brought um this is called oh alice and olivia uh size two not really happy about that again i saw the tag i was like i'm getting it it's only a dollar i want it brand new with tags little bit disappointed right now to see that it is a size two small items like this zeros twos and fours can literally sit for a whole year but i'm hoping that this will not be the case with this it's a red dress wrap style really nice for this time of year so hopefully i won't have that for too long um don't have much experience with alice and olivia so i'm not sure how much i can get for that i'm assuming like 20 bucks maybe a little bit more if you know comment down below then i found a few jeans and i'm not 100 percent familiar with these jeans okay correction made well jeans i only know about this brand because i watch other youtuber youtubers and they talk about this brand um, so I grabbed them. I don't know much about them. It does look to be a smaller size. This is a size 31 by 32. Skinny, but I don't know if they're men's or women's. I'm going to have to look it up. Maybe men's. Made well brand. The problem that I have, I didn't notice that they cut that out. It might not be an issue with people as long as the Madewell is on the back. Um, I'll price it a little lower because of that. But the Madewell skinny jeans for a dollar, brand new with tags. Another size 28 by 30 Madewell skinny jeans. This one does have the tag still in it. What is the retail value? It doesn't say paid a dollar for these made well so made well is supposed to be a little bit of a better brand again i'm not all that familiar with what these go for i'm gonna say at least 20 bucks right <sighs> 
Remember I was saying that I don't find a lot of this brand, but I found it today. Avec les filles. I found some shoes at Goodwill, Goodwill, this brand, not too long. Was it Goodwill? I think it was Goodwill for like $6. Brand new mules embroidered. Um, I listed them up for like 50 or 60 bucks. So that was the first time I found that brand and I found it today. It has the raw hem size. What is this? Size 29. I don't know what the retail value is on this, but I think it's a pretty decent brand. Um, so can't wait to see what I can sell these for. And finally, not finally, for the jeans, Hudson Jeans. I know I've heard of this brand. It has a black marker throughout it, Hudson. Uh, what size is it? This is the Hudson Natalie Mid-Rise size 30 black jeans. I feel like these will fit me. So I'm going to try them on and see, but I'm not 100% sure. It has the rip right there. Hudson, I think, is a better brand. Not Couture or anything, but it's a little better, better than Bread and Butter. So I can't wait to see what I can get for that. Let me show you these last two things. Oh, no, I still have the boots. The boots that I originally went there for. I'm going to show you those, too. But this is still the same $1 items, same store. Adriana Papel, size 12. Look at this amazing dress. It's like a satin. This is an occasion dress. One shoulder occasion dress has the ruffle here. Look at that. Brand new with tags. Size 12. Retail value $229. Now, I do watch um, some of my YouTubers say that they, they send their items in to thread up. So I'm going to look up these items and see, you know, what I can get for them. And I may be putting some of this stuff, selling some of this stuff to thread up. I do not know what brand this is. Never seen it before. But look at this gorgeous occasion dress. Royal blue flowers, built-in cups. I might have to get up on my knees for this one, y'all. Look at this gorgeous dress split here I don't know what the color is maybe like I don't know blue I don't know I couldn't even tell you what that color is gorgeous occasion dress and what is the name of this it's a size 12 oh it says JS group I've never heard of that before that's the tag JS group and let me show you what the Oh, JS Collection. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what brand this is. I've never seen it before. It's a size 12. I paid a dollar for it. It has the tags on it. I don't see any price tags, but it's gorgeous. So I'm hoping that I can get a decent amount for that. When I thought that I was done, okay, shopping I was like let me go back in here one more time and make sure that I didn't miss anything right and the first time I had walked right past it because it was a coat and I was like eh, I don't feel like dealing with coats right now because it's May but then I was like you know what just go back in check real quick make sure that you didn't miss anything and imagine my surprise when I did go back in there to look quickly and I found this lucky brand quilted Women's coat, size medium, has the hood. Or I guess it's a jacket. It's not really thick. Look at that. So I was really happy. I was like, yay, score. It's a lucky brand, right? And then I saw the tag. So I was even more excited. Y'all, $228. I paid a dollar for it, okay? So get out there. Get out to these stores. Get out in the mix. Yeah, there's a ton of competition. It's getting worse by the day, but there are still, if you go out there and you're consistent, you can still find stuff. And finally, I'm going to show you the last things that I got, what I had originally went there for in the first place, the stuff that he had posted on Facebook. I don't know much about this. Y'all, this is called Sincerely Jewels. I did a real quick search prior to contacting him about these boots. 
I did a real quick search to see what they were worth. They, they remind me of Doc Martens kind. They're not Doc Martens at all. Sincerely Jewels. I don't, are they leather? Let me see. No. Oh. Leather man-made outsole. PU textile upper. Okay, whatever. But you know what they remind me of? They're kind of cute little combat boots, right? The size is absolutely right. Size nine and a half. They are brand new. White. Sincerely Jewels is the brand. $2. Two. Very happy. When I did a quick search, I haven't looked at this exact style. I just typed in like Sincerely Jewels boots. And some of their boots were selling for like 50 bucks. So I'll have to wait and see exactly what they're worth. But if they're worth 50 or even 30, I paid $2 for them. It, to me, it's a win. Again, Sincerely Jewels is the brand. Look at that. Combat boots. They look to be absolutely brand new, size nine and a half. I paid two dollars for these. This is what originally got me to his store, and when I got there is when I found all the other stuff. And finally, this was what else I had originally went there for, which was Tara Timberland boots. Have not looked up this style. I, I'm gonna guess that they're rain boots, but I couldn't be a hundred percent sure. I, I think these are like in I think they're brand I think that they are brand new. Look to be brand new. Size, what is it? Size eight? These are like an eight or eight and a half. Size eight boots. Look at that. Five dollars. It was a great weekend. I don't always have weekends like this. My normal modus operandi, I think that's what you call it, is that I go to get Goodwill on Sundays, okay? And I get stuff for a dollar on dollar bag. And I buy pretty decent bread and butter stuff with tags. But the competition is fierce. I have to wait in line for an hour or half an hour. Um... The people are running around the store like they have no type of common sense. So um, I have to do all that just to get bread and butter items. So whenever I can have a day like this where I am in a nice, quiet atmosphere, there's not a ton of competition and I can get this these type of goodies, it is absolutely a win for me. All the stuff that I showed you between this video and the last one should keep me afloat. I say afloat because I like to have clothing in the pipeline. If for any reason I can't get to Goodwill or if for any reason I can't get to yard sales, I like to have excess inventory. So this is definitely going to hold me over for quite some time. Um, and by quite some time, I mean probably two weeks or whatever. <laughs> um, so I was very excited about today and I will definitely be visiting that guy's store again. He said that he does clean outs. Um, and that he, he gets new inventory all the time. So I'm definitely looking forward to um, visiting him again soon to see if I can find more inventory. Thank you all for watching. I hope that it was fun for you. I'm not liking this shirt because the sequins keep getting all pulled and stuff. And I will throw this whole shirt away if it starts getting on my nerves. So, but that's it, y'all. Um, I'm going to put all my selling links in the description below. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I will be back soon with more finds. Bye.